Hello and welcome to today's demonstration. What I'm going to be doing is doing a, a jelly plate art, but we're not using jelly plate, we're going to be using a rubber mat. Uh, it's a silicon mat and you can produce things like that. that. I've done mixed media over this particular one. But uh, my friend Barbara suggested that I do a video to show you what I do with this because most people use jelly plate and this isn't so let's look at some of the uh, equipment that you might need obviously you're going to need a silicon mat that they use uh, for oven baking for putting things in ovens and various other things a brayer, some scrapey tools, your paper, and what you would normally use as ink. Now this is acrylic paint. So let's move all this off and start at doing the uh, artwork itself. Right, I'm going to start with yellow. Make sure that there's no mucky bits on it. Just gonna base it out somewhere. Get a sprayer and move it around, just like you would do a jelly plate print. Try and get it spread out and then once we've got uh, an even spread out I'm going to use this and that line's like that Well, that's ready to print so fairly quickly because it is acrylic paint I'm going to put that over that now you might not see because it's yellow on white you might not see very much to start with so I think that's That's okay. So we have got something there. So I'm going to leave that to dry now. And uh, we'll get back once this is dry. I thoroughly dried the mat and got rid of any trace of any other paint that was on it and made sure it would is now dry uh, this is dried it doesn't take very long to dry that so we're ready to uh, put the next bit on now what I'm going to do is remove that and it's a similar process I'm gonna just put some uh, put some paint on there and it's a basic acrylic paint don't have to have anything fancy so again we base out the ink or or uh, paint in this in this uh, instant try and get it reasonably even and this time round rather than using this I'm going to uh, use the end of a brush and just draw shapes
And this is just a demo. I mean, you can be a lot more deliberate than what I'm being. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. And now it's time to put the uh, card back down on it. Lay it flat on top of it and give it a good rub. Let's pull it up and see what we've got now. So we're starting to get some interesting patterns coming through because we've got the yellow coming through, the dark blue. What I want to do now, once I've got rid of that, is do a final set of colours. And, and we'll show you some techniques with that. But I'll, I'll get rid of that and will continue on. I've cleaned the mat and the artwork is dry so we're ready to go on to the last piece of uh, the work. What I'm going to do for that is use red but mask areas off like that and then go over it or alternatively do bits like that so we'll show you how to do that again it's the same principle as before we uh, we're going to be quite rigorous with this actually because it's we need a, a, a good even distribution. Right. So with Troy, put that like that. And while I'm here, I might as well do a bit of squiggling around it. And then you can pick a place on your thing. A bit off. And you get your square. So let's do that here. And I think what I'll do with this is just half of a circle. And uh, where should I put that? Put it like that. Might not be the best place for it, but. And you get get the idea. You, you can mask things off, but what I'll do is I'll take that off now. I'll see what's left. We'll re-roll it back out. It's going to be very quick because this is um, acrylic paint, and don't like to stand for very long before it's starting to dry. So. One more, put that there, and have that go over that.
and there you go and literally you can keep building up and building up and building up but for demonstration purposes I mean what I probably would do is put some more yellow over that or uh, add various other colours and you can keep layering and making all sorts of really nice patterns but as a demonstration of using one of these mats rather than a jelly plate uh, which is very expensive these are very cheap in comparison uh, it does work get yourself one have a go with it it's quite a large area to uh, work with and uh, I hope this has been instructional for you and I hope you've enjoyed it. So I'll see you the next time.